In this video we're going to look at the thermal decomposition of polymers. So TGA uh, to examine thermal decomposition of polymers is very useful because it can tell us about the thermal and oxidative stability of our material. We can look at decomposition kinetics. We can look at the effect of reactive atmospheres on our polymer. We can work out filler content, so any solid material in there that doesn't decompose uh, that's been added to enhance the properties of the polymer we, we can work that out using TGA and we can also look at moisture and volatile component content uh, within our material. Okay so if we look at uh, an example of some TGA traces for different materials the first one here is PMMA and we can see that that goes down to 0% and so this tells us that the thermal stability is around just over 300 degrees and that because it goes down to 0% that there's no filler in there for example. Uh, PVC we can see it breaks down in a couple of stages and then it doesn't go down to 0% so maybe there's some filler in there or maybe there's some char that's formed that doesn't decompose. Um, we can see that PTFE has a higher thermal decomposition temperature and uh, we can also see the polyimide uh, has an even higher thermal stability and that it decomposes um, in this way and you know there's, there's things that we can explore with this we can sort of say if we if we run an unknown polymer can we use this like a fingerprint analysis to work out what the polymer is we can work out things to do with mixtures and so TGA of polymers is really very useful for a, a number of different reasons. One thing that it doesn't tell us is how the polymer is decomposing in order to get a handle on that we need to use evolved gas analysis where we take the exhaust gases from our TGA and we put it through some type of analysis technique. So it could be mass spectrometry, so we've got TGAMS, so it's a hyphenated technique. Or we could use infrared, so that would be TGA-FTIR. And if we look at the example of PVC, here we've got the, the different stages of this decomposing. But if we look at the uh, mass spec intensity, uh, this is an arbitrary scale here, and we can see that the first step here is, is really dominated with HCl, benzene and vinyl chloride being lost, um, whereas the second peak, then the hydrocarbons that are being lost starts to increase. So by having this hyphenated technique and looking at the composition of the exhaust gases, we can start to get a handle on how or polymer is decomposing. So that's been a video about analysis of polymers using TGA.